So come to some came to this mall in the end because it's got more to it, right? Uh -huh. Ashley's downloading a birthday app. A countdown. What Dave and Buster's? Two months, twenty-two days, fourteen hours, thirteen minutes, and seventeen <laughs> seconds. Because I put the actual sixteen time seconds, fifteen seconds, fourteen seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> That's awesome. Because I um, and then I put the dogs. In there. And then look, I didn't even put twenty-first, and it calculated it's my twenty-first because I put my year. And then the lunch is here. How is it? And I got my usual. I'm hungry, but not hungry, if that makes sense. We're we'll leaving the mall. I did not vlog in there because it was quite busy. That line's really bothering me. I hate when this thing happens. Yeah. Because it doesn't get the middle. So now we're heading home. <laughs> It's 20 past 5. We were here for a good amount of time. We were. <laughs> I smell good. I squirted myself with some of the Chloe perfume in Sephora. Oh, and I got my big box to open. My Pokemon box. Oh, yeah. I was like, wait, big box, big box. <laughs> what big box? <laughs> you were looking at me, I'm like... <laughs> like... There's we're a... not cutting in front of me. There's a lot of traffic, people. Before you. A lot of traffic. Ashley's got this. Thank goodness, because I didn't even bring my glasses. So if you'd have asked me to drive, I'd have been like, uh... Oh my god, I kind of almost got hit by a truck. I mean, a bus. If those cars would move up a little bit, then this the bus, bus could, could get, and then you could get, yeah. They're moving now. Starbucks and uh, there was a lady behind me who was very English so I asked her where she's from she said the Isle of Man and she ta started to explain where it was and I'm like oh I'm from England and she went oh thank goodness just because I tell people the Isle of Man and they're like where's that <laughs> she's been here for six weeks uh, visiting her granddaughter she said right yeah. and uh, got another 10 days and then she's going home. She said her granddaughter came over as a au pair and then met an Amer American man. I'm like, oh, that's what I did. Came over as a nanny, got married, and here's my daughter. So 31 years later, she said, oh my. <laughs> that was funny. So bye, mall. It's very busy on this side. Yeah, you think it was packed and then you go on the other side. Because I don't know why everyone thinks that parking on this side. Look at that trail of traffic. If you go around the other side, guys, it's like half the parking lot is empty. Oh, there's traffic now. Boo. Ugh. That's because it's it's uh, five o'clock. Because when I come out at this time from work, it's not that bad. Oh, really? Yeah. That's why I didn't think it was going to be that bad. Uh, you know what, though? It's moving. At least we don't have to get anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good day to come because I had no commitments. But it's mighty busy, peoples. And it's so funny, people are saying Happy New Year, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's New Year, we're still in the holidays. You forget. I really love the way this one sparkles. Look at it. Why? What did you say earlier? It's so pretty. It's on flashy. <laughs> Not really. We just got home. Ashley's just gone to her boyfriend's house, and uh, Pete called. He and he's just stopping by to see his dad on his way home because he didn't get to go over Christmas Day. Um, his dad is scheduled to come home January second, which is Peter's birthday. So as long as he's behaving himself, um, he'll be home in time. Ash and I just got back from the mall and I took the dogs out real quick and gave them their dinner before I came up here, put the kettle on for a cup of tea, I had to go buy tea bags, they didn't have my tea bags so I had to buy something as a substitute until I go to the grocery store and then I remembered, Claire you sent me tea bags, so I could have had a cup of tea last night, I thought I was out of them completely, but never mind, <laughs> I... Uh, <coughs> 
I'm going to make myself a cup of tea because I haven't had one in 24 hours. Wow, that's a long time. But I figured I'd just run into Target while we were at the mall rather than come home, go down to the grocery store, blah, blah, blah. But I'm telling you guys, there were some total idiots on the road. There was one guy... Well, I just want, it just makes me crazy because I think of Ashley driving back and forwards on her own every day. But he was riding, Ash was in the fast lane and she was doing her over the speed limit. So it wasn't like she was crawling. And he comes up right behind us, almost clips us as he gets annoyed to come around us. Goes in the middle lane, gives us a death stare and then almost clips the front. And then puts on his brakes as if to say, ha ha. Now you're behind me. I took a picture of his car, I don't know why. I was hoping to get the license plate, don't know what I was gonna do with it. But I'm just like, what a bloody moron. He was probably only in his mid twenties. But number one, the death stare, was that really necessary? Pay attention, you're now in the middle lane still doing a crazy speed. And then almost clips the front and then puts on his brakes. I'm like, you flipping idiot. Almost said something else then, but I won't mum. <laughs> I said it in the car though. Flipping heck. And now she said, oh, someone did that to me the other day. And I'm like, yeah, it really makes me nervous. She, She's so good. She always calls me when she's leaving work. <clears throat> so I know. But honest to God, it just frustrate, frustrates me so much that people... You're driving a car and you're acting like such an idiot. And I just think of those four kids that died before Thanksgiving that we knew, two of them we knew from the school. I actually drove by there the other day. I didn't realize we were on that road. And we were coming up to the overpass and Pete pointing out and somebody's put four little crosses on the little hill by the overpass. And it just like, ooh, just makes you think. Seeing how people drive on the highway, it just annoys me and it just opened up this whole anger thing with me <laughs> and uh, uh, hold on to him tight and tell him you love him every day. Every time I tell Ash drive safe, she's like, Mom, I do. I'm like, I know you do. It's the other idiots I'm worried about. <laughs> but anyway, Pete's on his way home shortly. He was just stopping to see his dad. <clears throat> and then he'll be home. Hopefully he's feeling a bit better. He took some cold medicine again today because he's feeling like he's getting whatever I have. Which, if you all remember, Pete bought this home back in November and I've had it ever since, really. And um, I just hope he's not getting it. I told him last week when I was at my worst that I would sleep downstairs and he said, no, absolutely not. And I feel bad now if he's gotten it again. I don't know how Ashley is staying away from it all. But luckily, she is, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get back into the question of the day, shall we, guys? Um, and it's going to be a simple one. Did you have a Merry Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas? Um, if you don't, did you have a lovely day on Wednesday? And did all your dreams and wishes come true? <laughs> And as George pointed out, I don't answer my own questions, so I did have a lovely day. Regardless of the fact that I felt blue, I did have a lovely day. It was nice to be around everybody. I obviously miss when my mum's not around. And hopefully we'll have a Christmas together soon. But I did get to talk to her Christmas Eve, and I spoke to her again on Boxing Day. I tried to get hold of her on Christmas Day, but she was still at my aunt's house. And... Um, you know, with the time difference, it's not always easy. Um, you know, my mother tries to call me or I try to call her and I just miss her or I'm worried if she's gone to bed. Five hours is a big difference when you're ahead of the game, which she is. So, for instance, it's uh, 11.30 right now. I know I can't call her because <coughs> she's been under the weather over the holidays as well. She has bronchitis, so hope you feel better, Mum. And I hope you're getting some rest today, because I know you had Steve and Rick there for a few days, which was very nice. I probably won't come back tonight, because I really have, I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to put my pyjamas on. I uh, had a lovely, lovely day with Ash. It was so nice. Ash didn't have to rush home to go to work. So we just took it as it came, and we really had a nice time. I finally got Pete's hat made. Um, tried to do it before Christmas as a Christmas gift. Wanted to have memorable moments photography put on a baseball cap for him 
um, for when he's out on a job. And I kept going back to this stall and I thought, oh, I'll Pete try one on. And then when Pete came with us one day, I said, oh, Pete, come try one of these hats on. Because I didn't know baseball caps come in all different sizes. What do I know? Um, and these ones they had don't have the adjustable thing on the back. So I thought, well, if I get him one, and it, because Pete Ash and I bought him one when we went to the parade. And I thought, oh, if I get him one, it's too big. It kind of defeats the purpose because that one is too big and it keeps blowing off his head. So then, I, and the guy was no help. The guy was just sitting there, like, couldn't care less if we bought a hat or not, really. Probably tired. And um, so then I found a hat with an adjustable strap thing in the back. So we had one made up. And it's nice because it's the, it's sewn in, so it's not going to come off or anything. So I've just left it on his keyboard. Yesterday his cup came, today we got him a, key, uh, a new hat. So now I have to think about what to get Pete for his birthday because his birthday is in five days. And Pete's... I feel like Pete gets gypped because everyone's so knackered after Christmas that, you know, nothing really gets done. So Ash and I decided we're going to take him out for dinner. <laughs> And uh, we'll see about what we're going to get him. I would love to get him. He needs a new desktop computer and he needs a new laptop. But unfortunately, that's not in my budget right now. I can't even bend down, guys. My back is absolutely killing me today. Um, one thing I didn't show you was the little bracelet Pete Nash got me. It's all coming uh, undone right now. But the rose gold one little Michael Kors bracelet but it's it's stretched out right now I pull it tighter than that and that thing hangs but it's cute and then the black one is one Pete's mother just stopped by and gave me one day before Christmas and look got my fancy shirt on to Old Navy right now they have the best shirts and I've done really well it was I think it was like $15 before Christmas. It was when the store was 50% th uh, off. And <laughs> I'm getting known for wearing sweaters with a bit of silver and sparkle in them, but that's what I like. I may be a granny. Well, I'm not a granny. <laughs> no, I'm not a granny. But I might be an old lady who dresses a bit. Uh, but sometimes I look like a bit of sparkle. But anyway, guys, time for my cup of tea gonna love and leave you for tonight I hope everyone had a wonderful day after Boxing Day day and a good Friday oh it's good Friday <laughs> and I hope you have a wonderful weekend but I will definitely see you tomorrow so bye for now and I'll talk to you soon